Hi, this is Jonathan Gardner, Section 8.14 of Griffith's Introduction to Electrodynamics, Second Edition. You probably have the third if you bought it recently, and I, I believe the fourth edition is coming out soon. Um, so, in this this section, we're covering polarization. So, there's different types of waves. Um, if you're thinking of a string, um, there's different types of wave. One 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 wave is uh, it'll give you uh, a scalar. It'll give you that's like a compression wave. Like if you imagine a slinky and you and you pull the slinky back and forth, then you can measure like how compressed or uncompressed the the, the slinky is down the axis of uh, the wave is traveling. Um, and you know, in, in technically with a string, it, it you know a string, a string even though it feels like it's not stretchy, is actually a little bit stretchy, and so it does have a, a, a compression wave that travels down it. Another type of wave that you can get, um, this guy has two hats, huh? Is a vector. Okay. Now, since the wave is traveling in the direction of propagation, the 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 direction, the the vector that the the wave function will give you has to be perpendicular to that to that direction. So you can break apart um, the the vector wave functions into uh, you know a vertical component um, plus a horizontal component um, as long as and you can multiply those by the vertical and horizontal um, axes that are, you know both of these you know v dot let's say the traveling direction x hat equals zero and h dot x hat is also equal to zero so the these axes are, are obviously perpendicular to the direction of travel um, and the interesting thing is that um, if you if you've lined up your your wave so that those two things are in sync um, you can get a, you know, you can alter the direction, the 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 plane that, that wave travels in down the the axis. So, um, and you can have a polarization vector in hat that is equal to cosine theta of your vertical hat plus uh, sine theta of your horizontal hat. And now you can express your um, your wave function as a scalar that alters according to a certain plane you know so then then your your wave function becomes uh, in the n hat direction that's all you need to describe the vector thing um, there's some interesting things you can do with circular polarization there's a problem that, that will walk you through that that i think is really fun to do um, and otherwise yeah this is this is the kind of, of waves that Electromagnetic fields will produce, as you can imagine, the electric field and the magnetic fields are going to end up being perpendicular to each other as it travels. Um, so to me, it's kind of, uh, it'll be a so uh, yeah. Polarization is rather important. Um, interesting note: you probably know this already, but uh, if you go to watch 3D movies, they give you these glasses that are um, you know gray. They look like sunglasses, and you might have noticed that you know the left eye and the right eye. If you look at like the theater floor that's reflecting light, you'll notice that one eye will see the reflection, the other won't. Um, that's because they're, the, the polarizations align horizontal and, and vertically. And so what's really happening is when you're watching the movie is the, there's, there's two projectors. Um, one projector is sending out light polarized in one direction, the other is sending out light polarized in the opposite direction, in the perpendicular direction. And so the one eye sees the one projector and the other, other eye sees the other projector, and that's, that's how it works. Now, of course, those, those glasses aren't perfect, and so you can still see dimly the other um, light, you know. Well, uh, anyway, it's, it's fun, uh, polarization. You have to think of, of the direction of polarization of electromagnetic waves. You, you can't think of them as a scalar value that's propagating down an axis. So, anyway, take care. Have fun. Bye.